So, you guys really like my How to Get Supers video. I got some crazy analytics on it, and from popular demand, here I present to you Lotus's guide on how to get ultras. Enjoy. So, I heard you on ultras. Many players end up in an endless cycle where you start off the game well, you're getting legendaries and you get your first mythic, but then you realize just how hard it is to get an ultra. The chance varies from 2 to 2.4% for every 5 mythics. I thought that was ridiculous until I found a few things that drastically changed the game. I'll be listing them throughout the video and I'll explain how they can improve your chances. So the first step that I recommend in getting ultras is going to fire in hell. This place is often overlooked by new players because it's so far away from spawn. I'll attach a picture of its location here. Fire Ant Hell provides an easy way to get elementary petals that help you progress. For example, the wing, the ant egg, and the yuko. Prerequisites for grinding here would be at least having mythic petals. If you don't have mythics yet, I would recommend going to C1 and camping the ultra rock spawn. It spawns every 15 minutes or so in the middle of the map, and each time you kill it, there's a 6% chance that you'll get a mythic rock. So if you just AFK here while like doing something else like watching YouTube, you'll eventually get enough mythic rocks to suffice for Fire Ant Hell. Anyways, traveling to Fire Ant Hell is dangerous. Even players with Ultra Petals die every once in a while, so be very careful. Usually this place is packed with people AFK farming for wings, which just shows how effective it is. Most likely, you won't be getting drops, and that's why stacking above them is the technique here. Stacking above them gives rates of about 200 legendaries per 15 minutes if you do it correctly. For the stacks, it's important that everybody uses Clover, and this is to make sure that mythic soldier ants are spawning. Secondly, everybody should be using at least 1-2 to two mythic jellies unless you have a sufficient amount of people for safety. For both fire ant hell zones, it's key to make sure that you kill all ultra queen ants. Ultra queen ants give 3 chances for an ultra each kill, and so far I've gotten 2 ultra wings and 2 ultra ant eggs from them. Now, after you acquire a good amount of mythic and ultra wings and others, this leads us to the second step where you'll be using those wings. Now, the second step when you're acquiring ultras is Mazing. This is where you'll put all the wings and fire and all ultras into action. Mazing is the most efficient way to get ultras other than super hunting, and there have been many players who just constantly maze and accumulate nearly a million legendary petals for one big craft, such as Rowan and Atield. One of the most important aspects in Mazing is having a good squad. If you have good synergy with three or more people, rates can increase up to 1.2k legendaries every hour, which is crazy. This basically means as long as you go for more than one to two hours a day, you can pretty much guarantee an ultra. Now, how do you get a good squad? Well, you can find a few friends first of all with ultra pedals on Discord and arrange amazing times, or alternatively, you can join the Lotus Discord server and use the maze ping, where a few randoms will hopefully have good pedals and they can join you at any time of the day. For anyone who doesn't know, the maze is located right above the Dandelion Zone, or the Hornet Zone depending on where you are, and its map is a question mark because M2A just doesn't want to show it. From experience, the best build to use in maze is all wings, magnet, faster, and a rose, at least when you're a group of three or more people. If you're heading into it solo, it's usually recommended that you use eggs, because you'll die otherwise. Anyways, that's the two steps that I have for beginners on how to get your few first Ultra Petals. If you found this helpful, please make sure to subscribe. I'm trying to be one of the first YouTubers to get to 1k subscribers purely off of Fort.io videos. Peace.